News at 11, I'm Max Dieknight. Months of debating, millions of dollars at stake, and finally an agreement. We're talking about sales tax revenue negotiations in Chatham County. Today, county officials talked about the big new deal. Our Alyssa Jackson was there, and Alyssa, as if that wasn't already enough money, there's even more money coming to the county now, right? It sure is, Max. Uh, Chairman Chester Ellis was telling us today that on top of the millions in sales tax revenue, the county was also just approved for tens of millions of dollars in federal funding. It comes just a week after the city of Savannah approved the lost split. All the signatures are officially on the certificate of distribution for the local option sales tax. Lost is a $100 million tax revenue that comes around every 10 years. The city of Savannah, Chatham County, and Pooler are taking home the most. But getting to a decision on the split had leaders butting heads. Listen, it's not personal to me, it's business. And the business is how do we save the taxpayers of Chatham County monies. There was a lot of divisiveness specifically between the county and city of Savannah. I hope we never do that again. All right. I won't be a part of that. Chairman Chester Ellis called the back and forth quote foolishness, but after fighting to get their percentage up to 25 percent and 31 percent by 2032, they say they just found out they will also be getting millions in federal funding too. We put our name in the hat and we came out with good funds. Out of the omnibus spending bill, Chatham County is included for the first time. Some of the allocation includes $1.2 million toward a public safety building and $30.7 million over five years for Chatham Area Transit. The timing is soon after negotiations for Lost ended, but Chairman Ellis says they were just notified of the amount last Thursday. The answer to that is yes and no, and let me explain what I mean by yes and no. We know we had been approved, but we didn't know the amounts, all right? We didn't know exactly how much money. Now, we requested more than this. Now, I can say that to you up front. The federal funding, he says, helps keep taxes down. As for lost, he says a 31% split coming in the next several years will get them where they need to be. We can't say that, that it won't be any impact after these first two years. But when we get to the 31%, there should be no impact. In fact, they should start to feel rollback. Chairman Ellis says the president still needs to sign off. Federal funds should start to come in around February or March. All right, Alyssa, thanks. We're checking in with Jamie now and Jamie.